The Witcher 3 is one of the best games in the world in my opinion and today we're gonna go over some one star or negative reviews, stay tuned. Alright, and if we check that out, this looks so awesome. It's a great score for a great game. It's my favorite game, actually. And let's see what the reviews that are negative say about this game. We got some reviews on Metacritic, some on Steam, and... Okay, we got this person. I did not like this game. It's the only game I put down after 8 hours and said I'm done. Witcher 3 does not deserve top rankings. Okay, then, crazy that you did not like this awesome story and the great atmosphere. Yeah, you kind of appreciated that. But 4 points! 4 of 10 is really bad. Okay, 21 better year is saying pretty average game if I'm honest. I have zero idea why it's had such a high rating. Not recommending. Zero points. Like nothing. That's insane. Why would people say that to a triple A game that is obviously a nice game and he played it in 2020 so there were no bugs of Roach spawning somewhere random. Alright, Hirizawa didn't feel a connection to the main character. I mean, how can you not be connected to Geralt? Nobody feels like Geralt, I guess, but he's such an awesome person in this cruel world and it fits the theme. I think you have to get some kind of connection at some point. Coolest says... 2 of 10 points, game physics is absolute beep, especially on PC. Well, I kind of agree. Physics of the hair is not the best and it's not even today after the next gen update. To compare, Ghost of Tsushima is introducing new options gradually. If you never played games like Dark Souls 3 or Skyrim, you can easily get through options. But in this game, you have all the options thrown at you at the start so you can play with it. Quests are very similar and boring. When I'm fighting, I don't feel like I'm in there. There's a bug with the world map that disappears after a minute in the menu. Okay, I didn't know about the bug and uh, I feel like this game, yeah, it's hard to get into, but it's even more fun when you got into The Witcher. Like, it has a high ceiling, it has a certain skill cap, but when you pass it, you will have the best time of your life and you will feel even better about having understood how The Witcher works. I feel like... 2 of 10 is absolutely out of this world recommendation. I don't know how you could rate the game like this. Okay, let's see what we got on Steam. This guy, he put 74 hours into it and 63 hours at review time, so he put another 30 hours into the game he didn't like. LOL? It's posted on January 8th. Everybody here needs to know that CDPR did and annoy the enthusiast community. Okay, okay. He says CDPR has some arrangement with NVIDIA. Well, I guess so, because NVIDIA tests like everything on Cyberpunk, etc. In order to make the non-ray tracing part of the game look worse in comparison to this next-gen version. I don't feel like they would ever do that. Why would they let something look worse than before? Doesn't make any sense at all. I guess there are contracts with certain like publishers and companies Companies that produce like graphic cards etc and they have corporations but they would not like downgrade everything at will just to make something else look better doesn't make any sense to me killjoy says with ray tracing on my fps drop from 100 plus to 15 on a 30 70 okay i have the same problem have to admit that as the moment of this recording cdpr is working on a patch they introduced and maybe they can fix that i'm curious but Let's see, it's an 8-year-old game, why would they just have fluent ray tracing in a game that's that old? Doesn't make any sense to me, the technique wasn't there at the time. Worked great before next gen, now it will not even launch. Okay, yeah, next gen update brought some problems to the PC world. Totally true, but I wouldn't say that you wouldn't recommend it because of that you can put ray tracing down and just have the time of your life in The Witcher. Why have you added a launcher for this game? Well, it doesn't need one, that's totally correct and I was wondering why they did so. It's of course a promotional move for other Witcher games and they are creating the Witcher universe for Witcher 4, 5, 6, etc. All these new Witcher titles will be in this one launcher and promoting each other. That's the long term, I guess, and this was the first step. So they put on this launcher. You can compare this to Ubisoft Connect if you remember that. Like Ubisoft has this launcher with all the games and this is mine. I'm actually an Assassin's Creed fan and uh, that's why I got all of these. Assassin's Creed Odyssey beat my Witcher 3 play count, which is insane. I'm curious how long have you guys been playing Witcher? Can you tell me in the comments? I'm curious. All these Steam reviews are actually new reviews regarding the next gen update. That's not 
too interesting we know about these problems and they exist. This guy, one of 10 points. The Witcher was the most boring 10 hours of my life. Then he tells about all these games he likes to play and says, play Ori and the Blind Forest. Why? What kind of review is that? He's not even saying why the game was boring. Same goes for Witcher lol. He actually review bombed it with zero points. Just some boring gameplay, unlikable main character, missions are long but extremely boring, nothing meaningful happens. Alright, if you say so, I think the whole game is really meaningful with so many interesting stories. Like, for example, the Baron quest is one of the best quests ever created in a video game, I guess. So much emotion, anger. And at the end, you see this destroyed family, everybody plays a part in this. And yeah, it's it's just an awesome written quest and you really feel with them. GMZ reviews. Overrated average game with tons of empty landscapes and monsters to kill. Basically a clone of Skyrim, but Skyrim did it four years earlier and they did it better. I guess Skyrim is a comparable title. It's also a nice game, but I prefer The Witcher. And also like overrated average game, he's actually saying it's an average game so average for him need to be at least five of ten points so that guy is obviously lying with his zero point review ah, it's just crazy how guys are reviewing games and i feel like this is pure review bombing and not their actual th thought about the game like zero points into a game is like this is the worst game ever ever created no fun at all and this is a total lie i can't believe these guys that they feel so bad about the game it's just insane, but it's the internet and you have to get to used to it or you will die eventually from all this feedback. I'm curious if you guys rated this game better and uh, please tell me how you would rate The Witcher. I would give it a 9 out of 10, I guess. It's my favorite game and uh, I'm so happy that they announced some more Witcher games for the future. See you in the next one, maybe with more positive news than negative reviews and uh, subscribe for more. Goodbye.